Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna have Anthony try some more keto products. And we'll see if it ends well. Right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you'll find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. You need to learn mom's part. No. Why not? Because because I don't, I can't remember that much. <laughs> so welcome to Two Crazy Ketos. If you're wondering where is Rachel, this is the keto box and every month Anthony comes on instead of Rachel this and is my box. try everything that's in this box. This one's mine. Rachel doesn't want to eat it all so Anthony's going to do it instead. Now if you don't know what a keto box is, keto box is a monthly subscription box. It's got all kinds of keto treats and everything like that in there. Uh, it costs like $40 a month. There is a link down below if you want to get one as well as the coupon code which is 2GrazyKetos and that will get you I think $10 off of your first month or $15 off your first month. So you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the way we do this is we're gonna go through each item that's in here. We've already opened it up just so we can grab the prices. We'll have you put that off to the side so that it's not in the middle of the shot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over each product, go over the nutrition, um, the ingredients, how much it costs, and then we're going to try it. Yes. First item. Instant Hot Cereal by High Key, Cocoa Almond, Fuel the Journey. So we've actually had some of these flavors before and they were pretty good. I've had a cinnamon one. So what flavors is Cocoa Almond? Cocoa Almond. Okay. Um, it's got 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, 140 grams of sodium, 10 grams of carbs, four grams of dietary fiber, one gram of sugar, um, five, five grams of erythritol and eight grams of protein. So how many net carbs? Six. You gotta learn the language. Six. It can't be six. So because it would... minus four. Oh, minus sugar too. No, 10 minus four is six minus five erythritol. One net, you don't subtract sugar, you subtract sugar alcohols. Uh, okay. So one net carb per serving. So it's got coconut, whole hemp seed, almonds, erythritol, instant micellar. What is micellar. That? Micellar. Casein. Casein, sunflower kernels, chia seeds, golden flaxseed, cocoa with alkai, hydrolyzed collagen, sea salt, stevia extract, sun sunflower le lecithin, and monk fruit. Yep. Good ingredients. Actually, they're all really healthy ingredients. They're like different seeds and grains and things like that. So to save some time, we've already made this. Wait, there's a sticker. What are you doing? There's a sticker. So? You're, you're just like me. Like you're infatuated with this now. You're not gonna stop, are you? Because it originally said two net carbs, but it's really one net carb. That's that was uh, that was worth a lot of work, wasn't it? Yeah, because what if it says something that made it different? Okay, so this is basically like a cream of wheat kind of thing, an oatmeal kind of thing. I don't really like almond. Or so, not almond. Coconut. Coconut. So now the one thing I will say with this, because it's got chia seeds and stuff, it's always better to let it sit. So you're gonna mix some water. Some of this, stick in the microwave for a minute. The longer it sits, the thicker it's gonna get. Isn't hot cereal just oatmeal? Why did I gotta say hot cereal? Well, oatmeal will be using oats. There's no oats in this, so it'll be good hot cereal. It's not bad. That's good. That's pretty good. I feel like it's just cereal. Oh, not cereal, o oatmeal. But there's no oats in it. So it's using chia seed and hemp seeds. Really good. The almonds, a lot of crunchy almonds in there. That is actually really good. You're gonna definitely eat this and feel like it's like sticking to your gut, right? Mm -hmm. Like a nice, on a cool, cold day, although we're in the middle of the summer. Yeah. I can see it being filling. Okay. Price on that. Oh, I forgot. Well, you can put the next thing out. Price on that, $11 a bag. It is available on Amazon. Now, one of the things about this box, oh, where's the card? 
There's a lot of servings in that, though. How many servings are in there? A third of it. It's seven, seven and a half. Oh, okay. Seven and a half. It's not seven and a half. High key. I love you. It's not seven and a half servings. It's either seven servings or it's eight servings, right? We are affiliated to them, so there's a link down below in the description if you're interested. We also have a coupon code. Okay, so where's the card for in here? Because they always give us a card that has like dif different discount coupons and stuff like that. So I'm curious like what they give you. They give you a 15% off discount code in there. Okay, next up. Are you getting all the baking things out? Yes. Okay, so I'll do this one. So this is pure sugar-free bakeable chocolate fudge brownie mix. We've already made it, which is why the bag is empty. Ingredients in this are organic chickpea flour, organic soluble tapioca fiber, organic uh, acai gum, acai gum, acai, is that how you pronounce it? Acai? Acai. Acai, acai, acai. there's an A at the end. Organic erythritol, organic almond flour, uh, organic cocoa powder, um, organic natural flavorings, baking powder, which is cornstarch, bi sodium bicarbonate, mono calcium phosphate, sea salt, organic stevia leaf extract. So not bad ingredients. Uh, I don't know too much about chickpea flour. So uh, let's see. So per, I like the fact that on here, this bag will make- Did I make, oh, it made the whole bag. Yeah, this bag makes 11 servings, 11 brownies, which to me, I don't know how you get 11. Shouldn't it be 12? But why is it, it's a quarter cup of mix. Who is? That's because when you divide it up, the amount of mix. Okay, so they're saying there's 11 servings in here. I would say there's either 10 or 12. Yeah. Because how are you gonna get an uneven amount when you cut it? Unless yeah. you're doing nine. Unless you're doing a weird You would have twice. to do nine or 12. Yeah. But there's no way to, I don't know how you're gonna cut 11. Kind of, but again, that comes to the nutrition things where they're trying to get under a certain amount. Yeah. So we're gonna go as prepared. To prepare it is one egg, three tablespoons of oil, and a third a cup of water. It would be 130 calories per serving, six grams of fat, uh, two grams of protein, 19 total carbohydrates, 10 grams of dietary fiber, four grams of erythritol, which is gonna make it five, and that's why they're doing that, because if they put it at a, a 10, mm -hmm. it would be more than five net carbs. Mm. And all of the, most people won't want it less than five net carbs. I would probably go 12. They're saying five net carbs per serving. It's either gonna be four or six, most likely. Kind of high, but it's, you know, got a lot of fiber in it. That's my thing, a lot of fiber. Only four grams of erythritol. Uh, we went over the ingredients. You ready? Yes. So we made a whole tray of them. It honestly looks like a brownie. I'm not gonna. They look like brownies. They're these are very very they smell fudgy. Yes. They're very fudgy. Well, they, it's a fudge brownie. Okay, ready? That's not bad. That is, that is very fudgy. That's spot on. Now you cooked it less than it called for because you like them fudgy. You don't like them cakey, right? So you cooked them for? 15 minutes. 15 minutes and the package calls for 30. Oh, 28. That's not bad. That's good. That's pretty not good. Not super sweet. No. No cooling effect. I could, I could eat a tray of these. I feel, yeah. like, I feel like Caleb would eat these. Caleb loves brownies. We need him to try those. That's pretty good. That, that's a hit, depending on the price. So the price on these are $8.50 for the bag. Not bad considering the ingredients. Yeah. Little high in total carbs. And as a nice little treat, I, I can see it. Okay. Next up. I'm gonna wash it down. Yerbe. Yerbe. So strawberry blonde flavor. Where's Yerbe? She's at home. She's at home. Um, so. Obviously, the serving size is one can, no calories, no fat, no cholesterol, 10 grams of sodium, no carbs, no fiber, no protein. So zero, 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 zero. 160 zero. milligrams of caffeine. Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh. Well, are we gonna read the, the ingredients? ingredients? Carbonated water, natural flavors, proprietary functional blend, and that is yerba, yerba mate, white tea, caffeine, citric acid, stevia leaf extract, and sea salt. Okay, so it's got, I like the proprietary blend. We're not gonna tell you what's in our proprietary blend, but now we love seltzer water. You don't like seltzer water. It's not seltzer water. 
If it's zero, 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 it, it's kind of like seltzer water. It's got way more taste than just a static TV. It's pretty good. Really? You like that? It's not bad. It's better than the stuff you drink. It's a little medicine-y tasting for me. Strawberry like medicine. blonde. You, okay. Medicine health. Price on these on Amazon is $30 for 12 cans. So what is that? A little bit less $30 than $30 for 12 cans. That's kind of like what? Expensive. $3.50 a can almost? I don't know. Or two, almost $3 a can. Yeah, something like two seventy five dollars a can. You're going to make me pull out the calculator? Yeah. Two fifty dollars a can. Oh, maybe that's not that bad. <laughs> I wouldn't pay two fifty for that though. Okay, next up. Hmm. Let's do this. Here you go. Curly Girls candy. We've had this before. I've always had a problem with the ingredients. Let's see if we've changed them at all. So this on the back has a little bit of copy. It says Curly Girls candy set a new standard for health conscious consumers, allowing our community of customers to enjoy a delicious indulgence without guilt. Our sugar free candy line is made with plant based alternative sweeteners, maltitol free. So you can stay focused on your health goals while still satisfying your sweet tooth cravings. Welcome to Curly Girls Candy. We actually met them last year at KetoCon. So the ingredients in this is butter, which is cream and salt, prebiotic fiber syrup, non-GMO, sweetener blend, which is tagatose, non-GMO, erythritol, non-GMO, allulose, non-GMO, peanuts, Spanish, raw, uh, <laughs> it's kind of weird, it's peanuts, but they're Spanish and raw water, and less than 2% of vanilla extract and baking soda. Man, they're really pushing the non-GMO. Yeah, so uh, I, I kind of have an issue with some of the ingredients. Prebiotic fiber syrup generally is an IMO syrup, but they're not actually writing the word isomaltal oligosaccharides. Um, and a sweetener blend, which is, I don't know anything about tagatose, so I'd have to look that up. But again, it is, I, I feel like it's going to you to spike insulin, um, maybe blood sugar a little bit. I'd have to do a test on it. Maybe I'll do a test on that. Okay, so serving size is one ounce. There's two servings in this package. Two servings? There's a lot in here. It's kind of heavy. It's peanut brittle. 120 calories per serving, 12 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, one gram of protein, five grams of dietary fiber, three grams of tagatose. So, and then there's also, I remember seeing allulose in here too, but she doesn't say how much allulose is in here. So based just on that, we're looking at three net carbs per serving. But again, the ingredients say allulose, but nowhere on the package does it say how much allulose is. Okay, so on here, there is a little bit of copy. It says tagatose has almost no effect on blood sugar levels, glycemic index of three. So it does not contribute to the net carbs and can be subtracted from total carbs. So it's actually better than xylitol. But again, I have no idea of how much allulose is in here. Okay, you wanna try these? Yes. So there's, there's a decent amount in here. Yeah. There's a lot of these little do not eat silicate things, but they're like All stuck. over the things that I'm about to eat. Well, it's, you don't want to eat the inside. We're going to save this. I think we're going to do a blood sugar test on these. I'll be honest. I'm too scared to eat it. Why? I don't eat peanut brittle usually, and I don't want it to break my tooth. It's very hard. Peanut brittle is hard. I can't bite it. It's pretty good. This isn't me. It's fine. It's not for me though. I'm not a peanut brittle person, so don't take my opinion. Okay. It tastes good. Uh, I'm a little worried about the ingredients. Price to notice, ten dollars for a four ounce. So double that, ten bucks. So five dollars for that bag. I think I've had this. Is that the same one that we got Keto at yeah, we, we, Big yeah. Lots? Yeah. Okay. I've had this, but it's, we didn't get this flavor. We got... I, I, I'm just telling you, like, this looking is the one at that the lied. package, does this have, like, like, uh... This is the one that lied, didn't it? I don't remember. I'm just looking, like, the green with the little plus symbol. Doesn't it, like, kind of make you think of, like, pot? Like, <laughs> well, if you go to Colorado, that's their symbol. I mean, is yeah. Is the green... I guess. I don't know. All is right. there, I'll what's in this? All right. 
So the ingredients are almond meal, allulose, sugar-free chocolate flavored chips, malt, and that has maltitol, unsweetened chocolate processed with alkali, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, natural vanilla extract, whole milk powder, butter, egg yolks, coconut flour, egg white, milk protein isolate, fermented oregano and flaxseed, coconut oil, medium chain triglycerides, natural flavor, which has non-fat dry milk, butter, cream and salt, natural flavors, vanilla extract, baking soda, sea salt, baking powder, sunflower lecithin, culture cream, and that is cream, cultures, and a non-fat dry milk, and xanthan gun, gum. That's a lot of ingredients for a cookie. Um, serving size is one cookie, 145 calories for the cookie, 12 grams of fat, nine grams of total carbs, three grams of dietary fiber, um, and five grams of protein. So that makes it six. Not okay. Five. Well, here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you right now. We're gonna try this. Do not buy this. Yeah. Okay. Do not. Here's why. Second ingredient in this is allulose. Second ingredient. Nowhere on this label does it tell me how much allulose. And then when you read the nutrition facts, it says there's zero sugars in it and it doesn't list any kind of sugar alcohols. They're lying on the nutrition label. Yeah. Okay, they're lying on the nutrition label because allulose is listed as a sugar. It's not on here. So they're not telling you how much is in here and they're not telling you how much, if there's any other sugar. There, it also said that there's maltitol in here. They're not listing that. There's no way that this is nine total carbohydrates. I mean, it's a small cookie, but how are you getting to five? Where, where did you see five carbs? No, uh, it just says low net carbs. They're not even telling you how many net carbs because technically, according to this, it would be six. But again, there's allulose in here, but they're not telling us how much allulose is in here. Like this is, okay. And it does. It looks like it should be sold in a pot shop. It does. Oh. It doesn't, it doesn't even smell good. Do you want a half of a half? Yeah. I'm probably not gonna eat it. <laughs> it doesn't look that good. Wow, that is no taste. It's definitely sweet. Taste those chocolate chips. It's sweet. There's definitely sweet in her Chocolate inner. chip is. Yeah. No, thank you. You want another price anyway? Sure. $20 for 10 cookies, so $2 a cookie. I feel like that's the one that we found. Yeah, it is. At... I remember it lying on the label. Yeah, Big Lots. We found it at Big Lots. Okay, next up. Omelet bar. Oh, we just reviewed these. If you haven't seen that, I will leave a little link over Anthony's head. Um, okay, you can eat these hot or cold. Which one do you want? I don't know. What's recommended? It's better, I'm gonna tell you, having had them, they're better hot. Okay, then I want it hot. Okay, so the ingredients in this are organic free range eggs, feta cheese, grass fed butter, spinach, egg whites, Parmesan cheese, skim milk, encapsulated baking soda, garlic, spices, citric acid, and xanthan gum. So basically the idea of this, it's like a shelf stable egg. Hmm. It's an omelet, it's, okay. it, but you can leave it on the shelf. So a serving size is 130 calories. It's this whole thing. Nine grams of protein, nine grams of fat, two total carbohydrates. Okay, so I will go make this. Well, okay, before he does it, there is a 20% off code on here, and if you use it first fan, is that what it says? Mm-hmm. Then you can get 20% off. Okay. There you go. Uh, all it is is like 20 seconds in a microwave. Okay. Now, I do think this is a genius idea because it's basically a portable egg. It smells really good. Okay, you ready? Look the most, doesn't look the most satisfying. It is a little hot, so you can see it does puff up a little bit, but it's very hot. So did we go over, you didn't go over the... Yeah, we did. Not the... Yeah, we did. I didn't, I don't remember that. I, I don't did. have a good memory. Okay. Where's my fork? I was giving you this. Oh, that's a big bite. So this is spinach and cheddar hot. flavor. <laughs> no? No, thank you. No. No, thank you. It's okay. It tastes 
So if you've ever, I, I saw a post and your brain is really smart. And like, if you look at something, you know exactly how it is going to taste if you lick it. So like, if I look at the grass and I imagine licking the grass, I would know how it tastes. And I can uh, picture this, th those rubber eggs that you get when you were a kid and you'd have the fake baking set and you took a bite, that's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> exactly what it tastes like. It just very, it, it's like rubber. I, I would, I put it up there with like when you buy a gas station egg, like one of those ones where you have to heat it up in a microwave when you go to a gas station. It's not supposed to flop. You're being a little mean. <laughs> They're not, it's, it's an egg version of spam. I don't like spam. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, price on those $3 a bar. $3? Three? Next product, Keto Bar by Keto Lu Ketology. Ket Ketology. Okay. Ingredients are protein blend, which is whey protein isolate, collagen hydroxylate, milk and protein isolate, chicory fiber, almonds, cocoa butter, alkalized cocoa, cashew butter, um, coconut oil, natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, milled flax, sea salt, stevia extract, and monk, monk fruit extract. So it's actually got really good clean ingredients. Um, the nutrition is, serving size is one bar, 240 calories for the bar, 17 grams of fat, six grams of saturated fat, um, 14 total carbs, 11 grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and one gram of added sugar with 14 grams of protein. So it's 14 minus three grams 11. of net carbs. Three net carbs. A lot of fiber in yeah, there. There's is. a lot of fiber in there. So they're using the fiber for the sweetener, but I didn't hear any fiber. What was the, go back to the ingredients. What's that? Chicory fiber. Okay. So they're using the fiber to sweeten it. Oh, it looks like fudge. It's chocolate almond. Oh. Why is it hard? Mm. It's okay. Kind of tastes like a Quest bar. A little bit like a Quest bar. It's okay. That's the nap. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy that. Um, price on those. $40 for 12 bars, 333 bars. So that's right in the price of all other bars. That's the normal price of bars. Even Quest bars were like 250 a bar at the gas station. All right. I'm saving my favorite thing. What looks like will probably be my favorite one for last. Okay. There you go, this is yours. Front porch pecans. Do you say pecan or do you say pecan? It depends on what I'm saying. Depends on when you're saying it. Okay, so the ingredients in this are uh, pecans and peanut oil, sea salt. Then you have, there's four servings per container, so that's pretty good. 210 calories per serving, 22 grams of fat, two grams of protein, four total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber. So, pretty good ingredients. I like the Ziploc bag, so you can have a few and then close it back up. Okay. Those are good. Yeah. Got a good amount of salt. I mean, you got a good amount of salt on there, though. Yeah. Those are pretty good. There's a lot of salt. I mean, there's salt in all the little crevices. You have a lot more than I do. I can see the salt from here, and I'm not as blind. much as yours, though. I don't know. I'm looking there at all that salt. Okay. Those are a hit. Oh, good. Twenty-three dollars for four bags. So five seventy-five a bag. That's pretty good. I feel like I just severely underestimate how expensive everything. I think you do. Wait till you move out on your own. All right. Legendary Foods Tasty Ranch Seasoned Almonds. All right. The ingredient for this- Wash that salt down. Is almonds, salt, um, contains less than 2% of the following. Onion powder, garlic powder, buttermilk powder, non-GMO digestion resistant maltodextrin, tomato power, sunflower oil, palm oil, Spice, dehydrated red bell pepper, erythritol, whey powder, medium chain triglycerides, 
Autolyze Yeast Extract Annata, which adds color, turmeric for the color, stevia glycosyl. Stevia. Stevia. And natural flavor. Um, do we need to go over the nutrition? Yep. I guess. All right. All right, one, okay, one serving, that's good. So 230 calories, 20 grams of fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, eight grams of total carbs, three of which are fiber, two grams of sugar, one gram of erythritol. So that is- Five net carbs. No, four net four carbs. Four net carbs. Four net the carbs. Erythritol. Two grams of protein. All right. And the digestion resistant maltodextrin, that is part of the seasoning, and it's the digestion, digestive resistant one. While you're pulling that out, price on those, uh, $28 for 12 of them on Amazon, $2.33. I think we have a coupon code for Legendary Foods. Not good. We could use some more seasoning now. Really? To me, there's a lot of seasoning on there. I like a lot of seasoning though. It is good though. Those are good. Honestly, I like everything from Legendary Foods, especially the Pop-Tarts. All right, the last thing, which is what I say for last, because I will probably take it when we're done. Okay. Shrewd Foods Protein Pops. We've had these before, never this flavor. When we first tried them, we didn't like them. They reformulated them a little bit, then we liked them. I'm not a big fan of the, of the sweet ones. They've had like some strawberry or sweet ones. Not a big fan of the sweet ones. Serving in this is one bag, 90 calories per serving, three grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, two total carbohydrates for the whole bag, which makes it really nice. Ingredients are milk protein isolate, a natural pizza seasoning, which is cheddar cheese powder, milk, salt, cultures, and enzymes, salt, tomato powder, onion powder, sugar, garlic powder, natural flavors, spices, paprika extract for color, citric acid and parsley and sunflower oil. <clears throat> so I wish they didn't have sugar in the seasoning and I wish she wasn't using sunflower oil. I wish she'd use something else, but oh wow. Ready? Bravo. I didn't drop it. Yeah, you did what? The <laughs> camera saw you drop it. It didn't hit the floor. It doesn't, what? Just because something didn't hit the floor doesn't mean it didn't drop. So they're little protein puffs. Oh, that's got a good flavor. Hmm. Kind of like Cheeto Pops. Yeah. So the first time we tried these, I felt like there was no seasoning in the middle. It was only on the outside. These are really good. And now there's seasoning in the middle. They're much better. Price on those. $15 for eight bags. It's a dollar ninety a bag on Amazon. That's not bad. Is that it? Let me check. No. There's nothing else. Well, there's a piece of paper. If you haven't tried these, they're amazing. I think we have a coupon code for these. These are the legendary foods. I'll leave, there's a link down below. Legendary foods. If you like Pop Tarts, Anthony is a Pop Tart fiend. And you tried these, what did you think of them? They're actually pretty good. They need more flavors. Right now yeah. they have strawberry and brown sugar and cinnamon. Make a s'mores flavor. <laughs> but they're really, really, really good. Okay, that's gonna be today's video. Let us know down in the comments section if you've ever tried any of these products, which ones you've tried, which ones you like. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And again, hit that little bell button so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. Until next time, bye. bye.